Ah, science. It's been screwing with humanity since the dawn of Stanley Kubrick. But what is it? Perhaps the dictionary can offer us a definition. Science. A convenient excuse to string a lot of unconnected sketches together. That's the last time I buy a book with no sex scenes. But where did science begin? This is the most powerful computer on Earth, the human brain. Built to ponder the biggest, yet most basic of questions. Who am I? What am I? Ah, what are you doing in my head? It was in a brain, not unlike this one, that the first sparks of human curiosity were lit. Sparks that would light a fire to heat the cauldron of an increasingly tortuous analogy. Man's earliest scientific experiments sought to satisfy his simplest needs. For warmth. For transport. And for a way of burning down the next village. <laughs> but by the time of Leonardo da Vinci, science had evolved into something purer. A way of worshipping God through the exploration of the intellect. <laughs> and burning down the next village. War. What is it good for? Funding scientific research. Will you please welcome the host of this year's Nobel Prize ceremony, Ugh, it's Mr. Hell. You know, these prizes were started by the man who invented this. And then he got really upset when people use it to blow each other up. So the nominations for the Nobel Prize for Naivety are the inventor of call waiting. I thought it would relieve stress. The inventor of napalm. It uh, was supposed to be a food coloring. <laughs> and the guy who thought it would be a good idea to feed sheep to cows. Mmm. Tastes like chicken. Mmm. And the winner is... The release of atom power has changed everything except our way of thinking. If only I had known, I would have become a watchmaker. Hey Einstein, that alarm clock you sold me just nuked Japan. And I'll be right back with more unstable material after this. Ah, oh, so there we have it, gentlemen. The electric snowstorm generator. <laughs> Uh, my apologies, gentlemen. Occasionally, these unwanted images appear. Later for your delectation, when rivers attack. But first, drat! Tis the Mr. Hank Show! Today, science is sexy. Eureka! Yes, Professor Hell? Take these Alcopops and sell them to small children. It's also very profitable. Behold, the everlasting light bulb and self-renewing energy source and the only pair of shoes you'll ever need. I make a fortune keeping stuff like that quiet. Thanks to science, we now live longer, understand our world better, and can watch the next village burn in widescreen. Yet the general public tend to vilify scientists. They say that many of our experiments are pointless. And that we're needlessly cruel to animals. Mm, hardly. <laughs> they say... Get the bastard! That's right, they do. <laughs> ah, science. Remember science? We were talking about it before those other schmucks pushed me out of my own show. We stand on the brink of the edge of the threshold of a brave new world. Let's go through and take a look. This palm scanner reads your unique genetic encoding. Put your hand on the screen. Go on. Go on. Everyone else is doing it. It'll analyze your personality. Here we see a new generation of computers able to perform every aspect of office work. Oh, sis. How can you do that? Yeah, it had to be mad to work here, but it helps. And this is the human genome. The recipe for making a human being. But once mankind have the recipe, who's to say it won't begin cooking to order? 
Sprinter. Detective. Politician. Or perhaps you simply use it to correct nature's little mistakes. Hello. I am a sincere future Dr. Robot. And I'd like to talk to you about genetic enhancement. This is Elaine. When she came to see me, she was bored with her look and therefore her life. That was until I gave her a blender for her nose. <laughs> My nose is running! The bar! <laughs> I've never been so popular! Oh, what about Derek? He had an arched spine and suffered from severe backache. So I replaced his spine with a sturdy bookshelf. Wow! I've been looking for this book for ages and... a guy just like you. Do you serve cappuccino? Not yet, but he will soon. From his ears. In the next thousand years, man may use science to embrace the stars or simply to explore his own existence. But whatever path he chooses, one thing is certain. The next village is toast.